Hello everyone! Piano Man Gaming here, flying a helicopter. It's got some pre-recorded uh, helicopter footage here for you. I don't think I have any videos on flying right now. Do I have any videos out there? I don't think I've flown a jet or a helicopter on any video in bite-sized or otherwise yet. So, this will be good. Okay. I have some super amazing insert generic teenager overexcited comment here. I'm not a teenager, by the way, but I'm speaking like one right now. I've hit the 900 subscriber mark. Thank you all for subscribing, and even those of you that aren't subscribed but still watch the videos, thank you very much. I have some very exciting news. I have made a Machinima partner. I am now officially a partner. So this doesn't mean that much for you. I'm going to keep making great videos. I'm going to keep making bike-sized and other guides and some gameplay videos for those that are those of you that are interested. But hopefully it'll give me some exposure. Hopefully they'll, uh, you know, put my name out there, show some videos on their main channels and things like that. So I wanted to make this video. I wanted to basically talk about a thread that was made on Battlelog. Uh, basically some confirmed yet unconfirmed changes that we will be seeing in Battlefield uh, upcoming. I have a link to the thread I'm referring to in the description right now if you want to take a gander down there and read over it. There are a crap ton of changes and I am happy with most of them and I wanted to kind of go through and just list the ones that are really important to me and I think that you guys are going to find beneficial. And I, I if please, please comment on, on my opinions of these. And please give your own opinions, what you think is going to be uh, either a positive or negative change after you've read that over. Um, there's some really, really easy changes that I think should have been fixed a long time ago, but there's also some pretty big gameplay, you know, mechanics and tweaks that are going to happen, so I'm just going to start going through those. The first one, I think everyone could agree that this is a positive change. Uh, players should no longer take fall damage <laughs> from short falls. Like so I know you guys, you know, you really wanted to see, uh, that suicide, a, that bad luck when you're jumping over that two-foot rock, but unfortunately that's not going to happen anymore. So, RIP small rock falls and kills. Increased spawn protection time from one second to two seconds. Hey, look right <laughs> one second. One second to two seconds. The protection will still be immediately cancelled as soon as the player moves or shoots. Okay, if I remember correctly, yes, it does say that. So spawn protection will no longer be cancelled by the player just looking around. Well, gee, it's pretty hard to get rezzed and not look around. That's why you're getting killed immediately after you get revived the by a medic. That shouldn't happen anymore. Right and you get a little bit more time to survive, so you shouldn't die immediately oh. again upon rezzing. Oh. My biggest that problem was ramming on the space bar, <laughs> or the accept, <laughs> accept revive button. Uh, to get it, you know, accepted as soon as possible so that if you die again, then you're actually able to be rezzed again. Uh, if you don't accept it before you die again, then it's just, you're, you're dead copper. and you can't be revived. You so. That's a positive change. Uh, unguided tank uh, rounds and RPGs will now instantly destroy high. jets, attack helicopters, and scout helicopters. Oh, so, one-hit oh, kills so on aircraft, guys, with tanks. I don't know if that's positive he's or negative. I think it's positive, because it's yeah, pretty freaking hard to hit a helicopter. Guys. Or a jet with a tank shell. Or an RPG. Yeah. Uh, Laser-guided missiles can now be distracted by flares. Holy crap. That is huge. It Okay, so laser-guided missiles and basically, you know, javelins, guided shells, etc. will now be able to be flared off. That happens. But there's a little bit of a caveat to this because they're changing the way flares break missiles. Flares will no longer break the lock of a vehicle that is locked on. It will only distract the missiles. So if you're pre-flaring, if you're flaring before there's a missile in the air, guess what? Their lock isn't broken anymore, and that missile's going to hit you. So you better hear those beeps before you hit your flares from now on, because otherwise you're going to get shot down. And again, this is just, this is not, this patch has not been released yet. This is just what their future tweaks, they're, they're basically giving, giving us a window into what the next patch is going to be. It's not out yet. The IGLA, IGLA, and Stinger now lock on much more quickly and disable an attack aircraft in one hit, but have significantly reduced range. This should allow short. Stingers to mount an effective close-range point defense without dominating an entire airspace. 
I think that's pretty dang positive, especially, I mean, it, if, if someone is not getting locked down uh, by anything else, one person with an Igla will almost never take down a helicopter. Right now. I mean, the flares are up for two out of the three shots, and it doesn't disable in one hit, and it's just... It's not a, it's not a useful it. defense against air assets, so I think that's a positive change. Headed over uh, the MI-28, which is what I'm flying in this video right now, um, has received upgrades to its climbing oh, and yawing abilities, so hopefully that means it won't be flying like a frickin' pig. That's a positive increase, I think. They're trying to make it oh, more equal to the US attack chopper, so that's a positive change. Got a lot of fucking assists. Claymores now live around. up to five seconds after a player dies. The player can have a maximum of two claymores planted at the same time. Okay, so that's not a... The two claymore things is not a change. Um, having them disappear after you die, five seconds after you die, that's a, that's a big change. I know a lot of my friends are not going to be happy about that one. <laughs> okay. Um... The oh, MAV the will no longer it. destroy vehicles that run into it. Instead, it should be destroyed. Okay. I've seen some pretty crazy videos of, like, the MAV crashing into helicopters and the helicopter turning and going straight into the ground. That shouldn't happen anymore. This is a big one. The MAV will, no, will now be destroyed when running into a soldier or vehicle at high speed. It is still possible to strategically sacrifice your MAV on a soldier, but it will be destroyed in the process. So all of you MAV fanboys who spend the entire game just MAVing around running people over, you can still do that, but I hope you have a soldier in your squad that will resupply you, because you're going to lose a MAV for every, every single human kill that you get. And also, another... <laughs> man... Another huge change, the MAV can no longer be used as an elevator. For those of you that don't know, if you've been living under a rock and playing Battlefield under a rock since the game was released, it's possible to cl to deploy your MAV, get out of it, climb on top of it, get back into it, okay, do you follow me, where you're, you're controlling your MAV and your soldier's on top of it, and fly straight up in the air. So the MAV is like pushing your soldier up into the air, and you're basically riding it like an elevator. It's called, you know, MAV riding. And you can get onto places that you otherwise couldn't. Like, just the most blatant example is in Tehran Highway. Up. You can get up on the highway. Okay, there's no other way to do it other than this. And they're getting rid of it. Oh, so you shouldn't be getting sniped from the highway anymore. On Tehran, or I know Karkand, people would get on the tallest buildings and things like that. Um... I don't have anything to say with that. Uh, say about that, other than a lot of people, in defense of their behavior, would say that it's working as expected or working as intended. I mean, it's obviously not anymore since they're changing it. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I've done it. Of course, I've done it. I've done everything in this game. Bravo. If if that's not their desired uh, gameplay behavior, then they're gonna take it out. That's fine. We're just not gonna do it anymore. Oh, I'm running out of time. Really, really quickly. The suppressor no longer reduces the maximum damage of a weapon when equipped. Okay, holy crap. I normally run with the suppressor on hardcore mode just because I don't like showing up on the minimap, but now that it's not going to reduce damage, there's almost no reason not to use it. I think... Oh, I don't know this for sure. Don't quote me on this. I think the heavy barrel is in the same upgrade slot. Maybe they're trying to make the heavy barrel more useful. Um, I know there's a change to the heavy barrel and the match rounds. I think they're increasing the damage of guns that use the heavy barrel, but don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. Um, and this is going to wrap up the video. I wish I had more time, but oh. I don't. So and please, me, but leave a comment. Tell me which uh, patch notes you like, which ones you don't RPG. like. Um, and props to my gunner in this video. You freaking, you did your job well. Nice job, dude. Thank you for gunning for me. Thanks for being professional. And we'll see you guys next time.